What's up YouTube, I'm Alex Carpenter and today I just wanted to informally walk you through how I build components for my website. Um, today I wanted to build a, a card, um, so I just thought I'd um, show you the process that I go through on building something like that out on the front end. Um, so diving right into it, I just created a new page on my website. Uh, my website is built in CMS. Um, so my templating language that I'm going to be using today is Twig, um, but hopefully I think this should uh, work through all the different templating languages that are out there. Uh, so diving into the code, um, I have my components page, which is that page you were just seeing. Um, and then I have a component, um, card component um, template that I'll be using as well. Um, so we're going to start building this out here. So I'd be called a C card because it's a component. And I know my cards are going to have a title, so I'll just make that an H2 card title. And my cards are also going to have a description, so I'll just do a paragraph tag there. Um, that's good to start. Maybe we'll throw, I know I'll probably have an image in here, so I'll do an image. Do a place, hold it, 1600 by 900 for the time being. And that should be enough to get started, see how this works. So on this page, we're going to include that component. So components card. So now when we go back to that page, we can see that card reflected here. Cool. So let's start styling this a little bit. Oh, I got a SAS file here that is set up for the card. Um, first, let's make this background. Number FFF. Make sure that's working correct. Cool. Yep. Um, next, let's. We're gonna want a wrapping element around our content. So, let's see card content. So now, when I do this, I can do C card content padding. Let's do var spacing unit base. Cool, so now we got kind of a card set up. Cool, so now we got a start to that. Let's do some quick other quick styling here. Oh, that, that should work for the time being. Um, so now that we got that card component, we wanna start making that dynamic. Um, so what we can do here, we'll start in the card component. We'll just start erasing some of this dummy content that we have and replacing it with some uh, twig setup that we're going to use. So we'll call that description and that one title. So now this is going to break on the front end here. But next what we can do is update this to include those. So we'll say with and we'll want to say our title is hello world and we can say description still some lorem text. Oh, we don't need that much. So now when we go back, we can see that that is reflected here. Cool. So now we're starting to make it a little bit more dynamic. Um, next thing we can do is I know I'm going to want a, a grouping of these. So we'll probably have a grid of them. So let's start making that. So we'll do a grid. And I know I'm going to want some gutters. So I'll use my class to create some gutters. Gutters large, I want to say it is. We'll see if that works. but. This will be an O grid cell. And we'll make those 50%. So I'll do 6 of 12. Cool. So now if I put this component inside of this grid cell, should take up half this, half those size. Cool. So now what we could do is just start copying this if I wanted to mock some more. But instead of doing that, what we can do is start mocking some data. Um, so instead of uh, uh, just copying and pasting this, what we can do is set our data in the template. So we'll set cards to here, and create some space there. And then what we can do is start creating our card data. So we can say card, card one, We'll do lorem, for this first one, let's do lorem 10. And then we can start copying this. So this is card two, 
Let's give this one a little bit more text and we'll show that you why in a minute. So let's just copy that first one. So this will be three. So now we have some mock data that we can use. So that way we're only including this once and we only have to change things once. Um, so when now we can do four card in cards. And we can wrap that. Now we just need to make these titles pull from this data. So what we can do, since we're in four card for in cards, we can do card title, and then our card description. So now when this page reloads, we should have, spell that wrong, description. Uh, I spelled it wrong up here. So now we should come back and this should show three cards. Cool. So we can see now uh, I have cards that are not equal height. So we can go back. I, I have a grid um, class that I can add here that should help us out. Oh, grid. I want to see equal. Heights. Now on that card we can do display flex, flex direction column, and do flex one, one auto. So now those, oh uh, nope, let's check out here in our grid. Equal height. So now if this page reloads, yep, we can see now our grid item, our, our cards are equal height. Cool, so when we do responsively, we can see these respond down and they stack on top of each other. What else can we do to see? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm, that's a good start. Um, then it shows you kind of how I start building out components um, using Craft CMS. Um, mocking up some data and the importance of this right here is to show like if somebody else jumps on the project they're building out the CMS part of it you know maybe I was just the, doing the front end development now all they have to do is just delete this mock data and replace it with what's coming from the CMS um, so this makes the transition from front end development to the CMS uh, development a lot easier if you're breaking that up um, and then making uh, components like this are really handy at um, just re not repeating yourself all over the place. Um, yeah, so that's a good start. And uh, thanks for watching.